Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Photo Makeover. My name is Matt Kluskowski, and this is basically a video series where I take your photos and I edit them. So rather than me edit my photos, which I think gets pretty boring, um, I figure I'd take your photos, mix it up a little bit, and that way I get a lot of different styles out here. And I usually edit them Lightroom, Photoshop. Um, I, I basically, I will edit it using whatever I would do if it were my photos. So if it requires a plugin, if it requires something different, um, I'll go ahead and use that. All right, so uh, we're gonna jump right in. I've got three different photos for you on this one here. Uh, first photo, I would say one of the first things I wanna do is warm this one up with the temperature slider, all right? Um, you know, our lighting's not great. It's, uh, yeah, it's just, it's not taken at a great time of day. There's, there's no warm light coming through here or anything like that. And I think light could help carry this scene because it's, it is very cluttered. There's a lot going on here. So we're definitely gonna warm it up. Uh, let's see your whites and blacks. I always option or alt click and uh, do whites and blacks. The sky's blown out up there. So of course that's gonna, it's gonna show up pretty quick. Blacks option or alt click drag to the left side. So that gives me a good black point. Nothing really in the shadows. Again, there's nothing I can do with those highlights because they're, they're just, uh, it's just blown out up there. In fact, what we'll do is we'll grab the crop tool. I'm going to pull it down a little bit. I'm going to try to get some of that area out. Not all of it, but some of it. And you're going to see why I could edit this two different ways. I could edit it where I cropped it all out. But you're going to see why when I jump over to Photoshop, why I'm going to leave a little bit of that over there. Okay. I will bring it in from the right-hand side, though. All right. So not too much else on our basic panel. Let's see here. Detail. I will zoom in to 100%. Go to my detail panel. Sharpening. I'm just gonna crank it up until it looks bad. And when it looks bad, I'm gonna pull it back. All right, so that's usually how I sharpen. You know, if it, I get to a point where it's like you can start to see it, but if you go too high, it starts to look crunchy, okay? So I'll just pull it back there. Radius, there's a lot of detail in this. I usually keep a very low radius when there's lots of little details in there. And the detail slider is just gonna give us more texture and, uh, and I don't wanna do that, so we'll leave it alone. Uh, there's no noise to speak of, so I'm not going to do any noise reduction. Let's go to, let's see here. Uh, there's no lens corrections or there's really nothing we'd else we'd have to do to it. We could add a vignette, all right? And I think a vignette is really what kind of ties this one together. Kind of It kind of lets us bring in and focus over here more. My problem uh, with the vignette is that you could see it, it kind of goes toward the center. So what I would say instead go and grab the radial filter, all right? Bring the exposure negative, and then let's just drag a little spotlight right around there. And we can adjust it that way. Maybe even add a little bit more warmth around there with it too, okay? So at this point, I think we're, uh, we're done inside of Lightroom. If I hit the backslash key, you could see that's before, that's after. I think we're done inside of Lightroom. Let's go make the jump to Photoshop because there's some cool stuff that we can do with this one. Uh, so as we jump in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a copy. But uh, what I'm about to do, um, I do I do quite a bit on a lot of my photos. You may not know I do it on my photos and that's kind of the whole point. But I do actually, uh, I, I use this on, on quite a few photos and that's, that's adding a fake lens flare and warmth to the photo. So I've, you, you can find uh, you could find images like this. So here's some. Let's go look at my web browser here. Um, Bellevue Avenue is, is some place where I've gotten some textures and overlays from. They have some really nice ones. And then Adobe Stock. So just do a search on Adobe Stock, uh, and you'll see. You know, look at that. I mean, I, I don't know that they did that, but. That's something that I would do and <laughs> add it inside of Photoshop. So uh, you could do a search on lens flare and sun flare and, uh, and you can find a lot of images like this. So once, once you find it, let's go to select all, copy, jump over to the other document and uh, we'll just go ahead and paste it in. It's gonna be way too big. So uh, command or control T for free transform. And we can bring this in. Now you're gonna kind of see why I left some of that sky up there. All right, enter or return when we're done. And then I'm gonna change that blend mode down to screen because what screen will do is it'll keep the bright stuff and it'll get rid of black. So it gets rid of the black. And now essentially we're taking what I wish this photo had, all right, wish this photo had a little bit more atmosphere to it. And, uh, and we're going in here and we're adding that to it. We're kind of giving it a feeling 
you know, early morning or whatnot. Um, you know, we could go crazy with this. We can add fake shadows if we want to and all that stuff. I am not going to go that far with it. Uh, maybe reduce the opacity down uh, just a hair. Remember, you can layer mask it if it starts to, to get, you know, too much on the edges. But I think that looks pretty good here. I might go in and crop down at the bottom just a little bit more. All right. And since we're down there, that little, little uh, whatever it is down there, plant, tree, bush, weed. We'll just grab this. Uh, the uh, Let's go. In fact, we'll have to do it on a brand new layer because we have that texture there. So I'll just create a new layer. Press J for my spot healing brush and just scribble over it go there we go so you can see it's up there on its own layer okay and we'll go file save this is going to save the layered version of it and if we look back over inside of lightroom we will see here is our layered version so let's go to our original i'm going to hit reset all right so that's our before image that's our after image again before and then after cool all right, next one. So I like this photo. This one, um, you know, I, I kind of saw, and I saw a lot of potential for the photo. I just, I like the guy walking down the street here. Couple of things where where we could have some problems with. And so what I would say to this person is just kind of understand, understand ahead of time where some of our limitations were gonna be. So if we zoom in on the photo, we could see uh, definitely a little bit blurry. He's sharp enough though, but we definitely have some blur going on here. So we just, we'd have to be careful because I'm, 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 I'm going to want to crop this. So we'll go in here and we'll crop it up from the bottom, right? I'm deliberate. Like I want to, I, I don't, I want to get this out, but I don't want to crop. I don't want to crop it away. So we're gonna have to leave it for now. And, um, and so, you know, as we crop in there, just kind of remember our output options when we get to this point, you know, uh, we may be a little bit limited on how big we could print something like this. All right, uh, we are gonna go, we're gonna go black and white on this one. All right, so I'm gonna hit the letter V, V for Victor, and that converts us over to black and white. Uh, to me, black and white is a lot about contrast. It's a lot about the light, where, you know, the light in the photo stands out more so than in a color photo to me. So uh, hold down the option or alt key, click on the whites slider, and we're gonna push that quite a bit. Same thing on the black slider the other direction. Uh, I'm gonna open up my shadows a bit here. I think lots of clarity, lots of clarity gives us some more contrast. All right. And then, uh, and then to me, this one's going to, we'll, we'll sharpen it as much as we can. I'll zoom in here and uh, let's grab the amount slider. We'll sharpen that as much as we can without adding too much of that texture back there. All right. And to me, this one, again, this one is, is going to be, be tremendously helped by a strong vignette. I'm not gonna do the vignette because he's off to the side a little bit. So we're gonna go do the same exact thing and grab the exposure slider for the radio filter. I'm just gonna drag a little spotlight right around him. Maybe feather it a little bit more, like so. All right, and we could, again, we could go pretty dark with this. I'm also gonna go to the brush and I'm gonna bring up the exposure a little bit and I'm just gonna paint just over here on these people. I like, I like how the people are in the photo. I don't want them to get too dark in that background back there, all right? So let's close that up. This can sometimes be a job for Photoshop. We're gonna go grab our, our, uh, our spot healing brush up here. And here's what I found. If I go over here and if I, if I try to go in there and heal the image, all right, we're going to see, <laughs> that works great. Uh, we can go over here and kind of pull that down. Healing is melding between the two. And there's, there's a pretty big, like, you know, it's a garbage can. It's dark and then it's bright behind it. And so healing is going to meld between the two, but cloning should look a lot better. Okay. So if I close that, I, I would challenge most people who didn't know what this photo started off as. I would challenge most people to ever figure that out. Okay. Um, so at this point, you know, th there's not too much else we can do to it. Uh, if I needed to, I would have jumped over to Photoshop to get rid of that. But I'm not going to go to Photoshop just to to go to Photoshop. To me, um, there's nothing else that's uh, that that I think that Photoshop can help with this. Um, maybe a grad filter here, 
bring the exposure down and see if I can bring it up from the bottom. All I'm trying to do is just really draw attention to that, that guy walking down the street there. And uh, if I did anything to this, I might go into split toning just as a final little move. I add a little bit of a, a golden hue and some saturation. Not much, like look at it, 5%, just to add a little color, just a, a little bit of a richer tone to the photo here, all right? So let's have a look, hit the backslash key. That's before and that is our after. All right, moving on to our last photo here. Uh, yo, uh, nice photo, I like the... Uh, it's got a hazy feeling to it. Nice, nice landscape going on. We got a really bright sky. And the first thing that I, I would do, you know, I wanted to make sure we still have all the detail up there. So it's, it's not as if it's gone, but honestly, I, I'd go in here and I, I, I'd, I'd crop this in a bit. All right. I think, I think this is a focal point. I think, you know, the atmosphere going on back here is a focal point. I don't think we need all this space uh, down here. I think the closer we get to some of these layers that we have, uh, I think the better the photo looks. All right. Uh, maybe pull back a little bit on the highlights. You could see here, we could start to bring back some of that atmosphere in there. And that's all I want. I don't even want to darken it. I just want to bring back some of the clouds. Uh, no shadows, uh, no, you know, whites, blacks. It'd be tough to do because we know whites are going to blow out in the sky. And then blacks, I think we can try that, get a couple of little specks down there. Definitely want to warm this one up. Give the appearance that it's got that hazy sun coming in and out there. Uh, a little bit of clarity, I think, will help it scroll down detail. You know, zoom into 100%, but just like the other photo, crank it up. That's too much. That's too little. We can go somewhere right in between there. And I think it, uh, we get a little bit sharpness, but not to the point where it looks textured. All right. I think, uh, I think we could come down here. The only thing I would say is uh, a bit of a vignette, I think, would help this one just to darken those edges. And now we can have some fun with this. I actually think this photo would look good if I did the same exact thing that I did on the first photo with the lens flare. In fact, if you go over to Photoshop, you can see I tried it out. That's before, that's after. So I think it looks cool with that, but we're gonna try a, a Lightroom version of that. I'm gonna go to my radial filter, bump up the exposure and the temperature, click and drag. You'll see, it kind of does the opposite. It puts it into the uh, into the middle. I just go down here to invert mask and it does the opposite there. So I could pop that in and maybe even rotate it down. Like so. Might be a little bit too bright. So let's try to reel that in a little bit. But take a look, that's before. That's after. It's almost like it's just kind of shining down on there. And if we make the rest of the photo darker, it'll even, it'll kind of show up a little bit more. If I make the rest of the photo darker and then I go back up here, you can see that. I might even pull back on the highlights so it doesn't get too white up there. So that's an interesting thing we can do. What's nice about this is that, uh, number one, if you right click, you can duplicate it and you could kind of move it over, maybe create another one if we wanted to. Um, and what's really nice about that stuff is that I don't know that I do the other one, but we can go to our presets and I'll call it sun. We can create a preset of our radial filters, which is the tool we used up there. So when I create that preset, let's reset it and you can see what it does. I just go over here and I apply the preset. It goes and it adds it right there. In fact, it's kind of worth trying it on. Let's get out of here. Let's try it on one of the other photos. Let's try it there. Yeah, not working too good on that one. It's, it's, it's going to brighten the photo too much, and I really like the darker version of that one. But I think this photo, you know, look at that. You know, instant sun, instant sun rays coming down on parts of your photo there. So because we can turn it into a preset, I think it really helps. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look here. I think we're about done with that one. Hit the backslash key. That is before, and that is the after. So before, after. All right, folks, thanks so much for giving me a few minutes here. If you like these videos, there is a way that you can subscribe, and that way I do lots more tips, little videos, short videos, longer videos, and, uh, and that way you won't miss any of them. Again, thanks for giving me a few minutes here. I'll talk to you again real soon.